Hello! In this video, we're going to learn how to put the reed on our clarinet and how to play our first note. It's really important that when we're using our reeds, we are super careful. So here you can see I have my reed and it's in its case. You're going to grab it carefully out of the case and you want to make sure not to touch the tip of the reed because it breaks very easily. You'll notice there is a bumpy side of the reed and a flat side of the reed. And the flat side might have a logo on it, like mine says Rico. You're going to take the bumpy side of the reed and you're going to take the thin side and place that on your tongue for a couple of seconds, like this. Once you've put it on your tongue for a couple of seconds, you're just gonna give it a quick little wipe with your fingers. Now we're ready to put the reed on the mouthpiece. The first thing I'm gonna do is loosen my ligature screws two turns to the left on each one. One, two, one, two. And now I'm going to take it off, just like that. I could put my ligature down for a minute. Now I'm gonna take the flat part of the reed and put it on the flat part of the mouthpiece. So the part that has a logo on it, you're gonna put that face down on the mouthpiece, and I'm gonna keep it in place with my thumb like that. You wanna make sure that the reed is not poking out and that you can't see the inner hole of the mouthpiece. You want it to line up perfectly, just like that. Now I'm gonna put the ligature on the mouthpiece. When you put the ligature on, you want the screws to go on the reed and facing the right. Many times when students try to put their ligatures on, they set them too high like this and you'll see a gap up here. You wanna avoid that if possible. If that happens, all you wanna do is loosen the ligature a couple more turns to the left and bring it down as far down as it'll go. Now I'm going to tighten the screws to the right. I'm gonna tighten them just until they become hand tight. Now let's talk about how we hold our clarinet and how we make our first sound and play our first note. So the first thing you wanna do, hold two imaginary water bottles. Now, if you were holding these water bottles and you let your hands go like that, what would happen to the bottles? They'd fall to the floor. Well, you don't want that to happen with your clarinet either. <laughs> then the other thing is, if you had two plastic water bottles and they were opened and you squished your hands like this, water would fly everywhere. Well, if you did that on your clarinet, you might press a key too hard and it might bend and get out of place. So we don't want to do that. So you want to hold two imaginary water bottles. You want to place your left hand on top and your right hand on bottom. So say that with me. Left on top, right on bottom. And now we're going to hold our clarinet. On the lower section, you will see there is a place to put your thumb underneath. This is your thumb rest. So your thumb goes under the thumb rest and you wanna keep your fingers nice and curled. Now eventually, they will be pressing the keys, but not right now. Don't keep your fingers away, keep them nice and curled. Your left hand is going to hover above the keys on the upper section like this. You'll notice I'm not pressing the keys yet. We're eventually going to press them, but not right now. Let's talk about the three-step process in making your first sound. The three-step process is curl, light bite, close. So what you're going to do is you're going to practice with your pointer finger first. You're going to curl your lower lip. You're going to lightly bite your top teeth on your nail where the skin meets the nail. Make sure you wash your hands first and don't bite too hard because you'll hurt your finger. So you're gonna lightly bite your fingernail and then you're gonna close your lips around. Just like that, try that again. Curl, light bite, close. Now we're gonna do it with the clarinet. I'm sitting up tall, and you wanna make sure that you're in a chair that's nice and sturdy. Right now, I'm using one of my kitchen chairs. You should be sitting on a nice sturdy chair that you can put your feet to the floor. So I'm sitting up tall, my right thumb is under the thumb rest, my fingers are curled, I'm gonna do a curl, light bite, close. 
with the mouthpiece now. I'm gonna curl my lower lip, lightly bite the top of the mouthpiece, and then close my lips. And then I blow. Let's try that again. Curl, light bite, close. Now it's important that you don't bite too much of the mouthpiece. If you bite too far, or too much of it is in your mouth, you're probably gonna squeak, and it's gonna sound like this. If that happens, that probably means you use too much mouthpiece. So, what note did we just play? Well, when you don't press any of the holes on the clarinet, that is the note G on the second line of the treble staff. Let's play that G again. Now the last thing we're gonna talk about is something called articulation. And articulation is how we use our tongue and air at the same time. I want you to practice making a t sound. Go t -t -t -t. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try that into the clarinet without making a sound. So I'm gonna do a curl, light bite, close. I'm just not gonna bite as hard. And I'm gonna try making that sound and my tongue is touching the reed. Try that with me. Now we're gonna try making the G using that articulation. So I'm gonna just bite slightly harder so that way it starts making a sound. Whenever I start a note, I wanna make sure I start it with my tongue tapping the reed. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you stay tuned for the videos to come where we learn how to play more notes on the clarinet. See you later.